Hi folks, I'm Matt, product specialist at FlexCut Tool. Today, I'm going to show you how to carve a spoon using our new spoon carving kit. It's an easy project, anyone can do it, and so can you. Let's start by taking a look at what's in the carving kit. We've got an eight inch by one inch basswood spoon blank, a KN52 hook knife for hollowing out bowls, a KN53 stub sloid for straight cuts and shaping, and a set of printed step-by-step -step instructions in case you'd like to follow along. To carve the spoon, you can stabilize your spoon blank by using a vise, by clamping it to a table, by holding it down to a table with pressure from your arm or shoulder, or if you're comfortable, you can hold the work in your hand. Whichever method you choose, be mindful of safety. We're working with sharp tools here. Always be aware of where your hands are, fingers and body in relation to the work. This minimizes risk to yourself and anyone else who might be around you. Let's go ahead and jump right into the project. Step one, hollowing the bowl. A good place to start is hollowing the bowl, since this is the main design feature that makes a spoon a spoon. Our blanks do not have a top or a bottom face. It's up to you which surface to carve the bowl of your spoon. Begin by using the hook knife to make paring cuts across the bowl portion of the basswood blank. Figure one. It might be useful to think of this action as if you were peeling an apple. Be sure to keep your thumb down and out of the way. Hollow out the bowl by making slices to the edge of the rim around the full circumference of the blank. Watch out for grain changes. When the grain of the wood changes, you may notice that you need to change the angle of your cut. If you want to dig out your bowl even deeper, you can switch your grip on the hook knife as seen in figure 1A. Step two, rounding the back of the bowl. Once you have the bowl hollowed out, flip it over to begin rounding the back. Start by removing the sides one slice at a time using pull cuts and thumb push cuts with the stub sloid as seen in figure two. Then start removing the rest from around the tip. Now start rounding out the back as seen in figure 2a. Blending your cuts takes time and patience. Always remember to keep your thumb tucked out of the way. Step three, round the handle. Now that you have the back of the bowl rounded, you can round out the handle. Start by using a pull cut to rip long facets from the neck of the bowl down the length of the handle as seen in figure three. Now, flip it over and do the same for the top of the handle. Now blend your cuts using the same technique to create a round handle as seen in figure 3A. Step four, shape the handle. It is considered good spoon design to have some ergonomic curves in the handle. To achieve this, you can carve away at the neck, figure four, to create a concave transition between the bowl and the handle. Blend the transition to create a nice, gentle curve that fits comfortably in your hand. Be careful not to carve it too thin at the neck or your spoon will crack and break. Step five, round the end of the handle. Rounding off the end of the handle gives your spoon a nice finished look and makes a comfortable fit in the hand. Use a series of thumb pull cuts to round it out. Figure five. Step six, chamfer the rim of the bowl. Cut a chamfer around the entire circumference of the bowl to give a nice finished look and smooth feel in the mouth. Use a thumb pull cut in figure six. And always remember to keep your thumb tucked out of the way. Blend the chamfer into the neck to create a smooth transition with the handle. Step seven, refine the overall shape. You're almost done. The final step is to go back over the spoon, making fine detail cuts to smooth out all the transitions, as seen in figure seven. The final shape is up to you. Have fun experimenting. 
Our spoon blanks are thick enough to allow for a wide variety of shapes and forms. An example of a simple camp spoon for soup or cereal is seen in figure 7a, b, and c. Once everything is smooth and shaped to your liking, you're done. Now go test it out and eat something delicious. Thank you for choosing the FlexCut Spoon Carving Kit.